Six is Ashley Flette joins us now live in the studio with more on what the new buzz is around town. Jenny, it's all the rage of downsizing. Some may have even watched the show on HGTV and people here in the Augusta area are gaining interest about these tiny homes. We've been open for about uh, two weeks now and I would say close to 600 people have come by to see the houses. Childs opened a tiny house dealership here in Augusta located at 1203 Green Street and it has sparked all the rage. With 400 square feet of space, nine different models, and plenty of options to choose from, these tiny homes set the tone for a new way of living. We've had medical students come by. They're uh, wanting affordable housing while they're in medical school here. Uh, we've had retirees come by that are looking for beach property or, or mountain property that they can put a house in that's affordable. And affordability is something these tiny homes guarantee. With the financing options that we actually have available, uh, it gives people the financial flexibility and freedom to go ahead and own a high quality product like this, move it to wherever they'd like. Some even question utility hookups, but there's a third party company that does all the setup. A lot of the pieces of parcels and, and property uh, already ran for that. Otherwise, that's something that where we just simply get the uh, power company and uh, the sewer and water as well and the septic and just stay in communication with them. Allen has sold two of these tiny homes to families down in Panama City Beach who are in need following the hurricane. Houses that may take years to rebuild. This gives them that option. They can actually put this on their property where their house is going to be rebuilt. Allen and his partners met with the county zoning and planning committee in hopes to bring these tiny homes to the problematic areas of Augusta. Things came for it. We now are able to go ahead and put tiny home communities in certain areas within the, uh, within the county. So we are very excited about that. So don't be surprised if you end up seeing these tiny homes pop up somewhere near you. Jenny.